Hello, this video is a tutorial of SHARE's community platform. The communities are a place for SHARE volunteers and programs and projects, committees, task forces, and the board to connect and collaborate. It offers discussion forums, file sharing libraries, and networking. In the future, SHARE is excited to launch more open communities for all members. To find SHARE communities on SHARE.org, scroll to connect on the mega menu, and then select communities. A new tab will open up. If you're already logged into the website, your login will carry over. Otherwise, you will need to log in on the top of this page. Right here will be a login button. It's the same login you use for the main site. The first thing I would recommend to do is update your profile. So go to your icon at the top right corner and select profile. Your profile page will appear. Starting at the left, you can add a picture by going to Actions and change your picture. Below that is the email address connected to your profile. You can add in any social media accounts here. To the right, you can add in a personal or professional bio. You can also add in your education and your job history. Moving to the Connections header, if you want to connect uh, with other SHARE members, if you have any connections, they will show up here. A couple suggestions may appear, and you can also search the directory at the bottom. Now let's move to my account. It's important you check your privacy settings, the first tab. Here you will be able to control what information other members will be able to see. So a whole list, your picture, your networks, you can arrow down and change it to either my contacts, members only, public, so anybody can see this, or only me. Here's all the fields. If you have a website URL, your address, your email address, very important, and any other information. Once you've updated that, select Save Changes. Another important area to check under my account is your community notifications. Your community notifications is a place to control if you receive an email when any file is posted or discussion is posted to a community that you are a part of. So here the email, your email address will show up and then scroll down to notification settings. Your settings are automatically set to no email. To change the scroll over and click on the box, and yes means that you will receive an email when any change is posted to the community. Below that, you'll see all the communities you're a part of. So this one's a part of the virtualization project, and you can control how often you wanna receive an email, either real time, daily digest, so one email per day, or no email if you don't want to receive an email. Several of you might belong to a couple projects and all your project programs, projects, or volunteer committees will appear here. Now that your profile is set, let's look at the communities. Any groups you were previously volunteering with have been carried over to the new website. You will find these under uh, the communities and then my communities. A list of your communities will appear and you can select the community you'd like to access. Here's the general communities homepage, uh, a place for discussions, file sharing. If there's any events within that specific community that will appear here. So to post a discussion, hit the green post to this discussion board button. And then you will uh, complete the prompts here, subject, type in your post and select post at the bottom. Go back. And if you'd like to share a file with the group, select the green add button. To add to the library, uh, complete the prompts. Your file type. Uh, select next and then um, upload your file and select finish. 
These are the main functions within the SHARE community, and we are excited to continue building these out further. If you do have any questions, please email sharehq at share.org.